the survey shows that on the whole, companies in Britain are actually rel relatively positive in terms of their hiring intentions in the next 12 months. And in particular, when we look beneath the figures, we see that smaller companies, those companies that generate the jobs, they're actually quite markedly more positive than they have been in the last two years. The sectors that stand out for us are the professional services sectors, the high-tech sectors, the science and engineering sectors, which of course we've been talking about for some time now. The pace of technological change is still driving absolute job growth in these sectors. As you'd expect, the survey talks about a restraint um, where pay is relatively subdued, although companies do admit that where, where they have targeted increases and they're trying to retain their talent and develop the leaders of the future, they're going to have to reward those people. But on the whole, there's still a subdued mood around pay and most companies expect to give either less than the rate of inflation or no pay increase in certain areas next year. This is a result probably of the economic headwinds that we're seeing right now. The Agency Workers Directive is complex and not well understood even by professionals in, uh, that are working for our clients. But what it does is send such a negative message to a flexible labour market that clients are hesitating about what impact it might have on them. And this comes through in the survey. Clients are actually saying that they don't know what the impact is, but they know that there'll be more cost. Of that, they can be sure. So we can see in the survey that the intentions for hiring temps has declined. And we feel that this is a direct result of the Agency Workers Directive.